What should we name this new land that we found? I've got it. How about Newfoundland? Or how we pronounce it, Newfoundland? Who could have guessed this would be just the start of a whole ton of uncreative names in North America? When searching the US for all the cities that start with the word new and then something else, these are all the results that come back. I mean, at least we had the creativity to slap new in front of it. I will admit some of the cities are just directly lifted from European cities. One thing's for sure, the name Newfoundland is not very original, but their flag certainly is. Even the unofficial flag, pretty cool. What's the point of a birth certificate to prove you're born? Like, bro, I'm literally right here. This dude's got a point. That's why I threw my birth certificate into the shredder. It's a useless document anyways. Us Americans looking down on the rest of the world because we don't have to worry as much about being invaded by America. Key words in this sentence, though, is worry as much. The odds are low, but never completely zero. The item costs 5,000. 5,000 Venezuelan bolivars. What is that again? Like one US dollar? Wait, no, it's even worse. 5,000 Venezuelan bolivars doesn't even equal a cent. It's 0 0.002. How can this be right? Oh, 1 million Venezuelan bolivars equals 2.8 dollars. Oh, actually, I don't even know the real information because the currencies are always changing. Trains in China. Trains in Japan. Trains in Korea. Trains in Germany, trains in Spain, finally trains in the USA. Oh, wait. Yeah, it seems like we're just not very good at the whole train thing, I guess. Nobody trains hauling hazardous cargo for some reason lately. Maybe there's just some sort of uh, bug in the physics system. Can we get a hot patch for this? Finland to Sweden. We have almost 288,000 Swedish Finns that make up 5% of our population, and we have to learn Swedish in schools. You have over 400,000 Finnish Swedes, which makes up at least 4.5% of your population, and you don't have to learn Finnish in schools. That doesn't seem very fair, says Finland. I mean, the overall percentages are pretty close. What is going on here, Sweden? Oops. Canada and France agrees. So Swedish is a mandatory school subject for Finnish speaking pupils in the last four years of primary education. Also in Finland, there are two official languages. It's Finnish and Swedish. Interestingly though, the top three languages spoken in Sweden is Swedish, English, and then German. Finnish is all the way down here. Maybe this has something to do with history since Sweden controlled Finland during their empire days. Maybe 5% is the benchmark though. There needs to be at least 5% of Finns in Sweden right now for them to have to learn it. I don't know. Disney ensuring cultural accuracy in Encanto, Coco, Raya, turning red. Meanwhile, Disney ensuring cultural accuracy in Hercules. It's kind of like they were not even trying. I think they were trying to make it as inaccurate as possible. First of all, Hades should have actually been a good guy. Second of all, I don't think his actual story would be family friendly enough, really. Also, something else to keep in mind. Hercules came out like 30 years ago. These are all like relatively new. 25 years ago, maybe. Postal service fee to deliver my package is 3,500 miles. $10.50. Meanwhile, Uber Eats fees to deliver my food 3.5 miles. $30.50. Why can't the postal service service just do their own Uber Eats. Nationalize food delivery apps. That's how we can go back to being a real country. When people say English is easy, seal, 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 seal. And finally, seal. You'd be surprised at the amount of seals there actually are out here. Just want to know what came first. I think it was the singer. According to the Mayan calendar, the world is ending this month. Fortunately, the Oreo cookie says not to worry. And if it wasn't for these delicious cookies, we probably would have had our universe end in 2012. Thank goodness Oreo came along to save us. My retirement plan is to commit felonies in Nordic countries. And that is because prisoners of Nordic countries, you know, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Norway, um, they get treated pretty well. The other good thing is, I think in Finland, they don't even have gates, so you can just, like, leave when you want to. Oh, it's actually in Norway, and they're called open prisons. Doesn't look too bad. This reminds me of how in Germany, it is actually not illegal to escape from prison. Escapees who do not break any other laws are not charged with extra time to add to their sentence. In that case, I'd be like, well, might as well try it. 8% of Americans say they could beat a lion in a fist fight. We are gathered here today to celebrate the size of this L. I'm actually not surprised that it's at 8%. I'm only surprised that it's not a little bit higher than that. I'll never forget this graph comparing Americans to British. They asked both these people which animals they could probably beat in a fight. And of course, in literally every single question, it was always the Americans that, um, yeah, thought they could defeat the animal in a fight more than the British. And here's the number, lion. We have 8% of Americans versus 2% of British. Which Americans think they have a better chance of defeating a lion than a bear? 8 to 6%? Actually, that's a hard one. There's also elephant. I mean, what do you really want to fight here? I, I don't know. Well, I'm only thinking that I've seen crazy Russians literally wrestle bears before. You never see anyone wrestling a lion, though. Something tells me it's just really not gonna go well. I feel like I could curb stomp a crocodile. <laughs> 
<laughs> Although that also probably wouldn't go that well. I feel like if the Avengers were real, we'd really, really despise them. Then this person responds with, Watching the Hulk throw your car at the villain and miss. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing, if you're gonna use my vehicle, like, you better slap that dude in the face with it. But then, like, if he misses, it's just, are you serious? How am I supposed to explain this to the insurance? Teacher, this is a fire drill! Everyone, please remain calm and follow- Meanwhile, me takes desk and just, yeah, I'm not following some, like, 65-year-old teacher. I'm gonna make my own escape plan. Line up in a single file line, you're crazy. This town's population, 69,421. Somebody here is not going to survive tonight. We are literally one away from greatness. I know what I have to do, I just don't know if I have the strength to do it. Oh, this county is actually somewhere in Wisconsin. Maybe you can just like, lead one of the populations away with some cheese. The 30 billionth Spongebob on his way to completely molecularly dissolve Goku. This is referencing some sort of like, fight experiment. How many Spongebobs would it take to defeat the Dragon Ball Z character Goku? He's strong, but is he 30 billion Spongebob strong? You need way less than 30,000 to defeat Goku. One, Spongebob can't take damage, he has detachable limbs, he's a man Master of Karate can make guided missile bubbles appear out of nowhere, and of course, he's literally always ready. I think 12 Spongebobs could defeat Goku. Defeat is not the end of Japan. In the future, we will still be the strongest nation, says Emperor Hirohito. Meanwhile, here we are 80 years later, and you know what? I actually think he was probably right. I just don't think he expected how exactly they would become the strongest nation. Well, I mean, whatever works, right? Ooh, a little bit of rugby. Also, another sports name. Finally, lots of protective gear. And finally, we've created American football! Yeah! Would've guessed it'd be this easy. I do sometimes think, like, how random of a sport that we came up with here. And it's just so popular, too. The girl trying to scare me with her new Wednesday personality. Meanwhile, my personality. This man is known as Vlad the Impaler. And, uh, do I even need to go into his history? I think you can kind of figure it out from here. It's actually even worse than what it sounds, though. Me realizing the time machine I'm building to meet my past self will never have worked since I I don't have childhood memories of meeting my older self. I've just wasted a lot of precious time trying to save the precious time I've lost. Well wait, how do we know that this wasn't a part of the loop? You were going to meet your older self, but then you realized, oh, I didn't see myself before, so I'm not gonna do it anymore. Break the cycle. Break the loop right now. Build a time machine. Italian, yesterday night I had the worst nightmare of my life. Therapist, what was it about? Meanwhile, the Italian. Oh, no. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things that's gonna take years of therapy to get over. That or an Italian seeing Hawaiian pizza for the first time. People from places that see multiple snow days per year, there's powdery snow, wet snow, icy snow, slush snow. Meanwhile, people from places that never see snow, snow is snow. And I have to admit, this is me living in Southern California, and I don't really go up to the mountains very often. I actually didn't even know you could have different types of snow. So wait, is powdery snow super OP? Where does yellow snow rank on the list? When your building instructions are italicized, I thought that word for a second was gonna be Italianized. Regardless, maybe that explains this. Riding the bus in movies versus riding the bus in my country. Now that looks a whole lot more fun. Bus rides in movies are always the most boring thing ever. I'm always having like a blast on the bus. Hey Australia, how's it going? West in Australia, covered under huge amounts of snake-infested sea foam. Jeez! Wait, when was snake-infested sea foam even a possibility? Also, why am I not surprised, Australia? Be me! Mentor recently oofed, I therefore inherited his status as doctor. 7th century, I don't know. Walk past the farms on my way to the castle. See a family of peasants waiting for me. Male is sick, has a big fleshy orb on his back. Notices bulge, ooh ooh, what's this? Please cure my husband, he's become ill. No clue what the F he has. Sure, poke with doctor stick. Bulge bursts. Whitish cream bursts everywhere. Looks like spider blood. Smells like spider blood. Taste like spider blood. Declare farmer is possessed by spiders, burned alive at the stake. King pays me for preventing the disease from spreading. Feels good, man. Talk about the best profession in history. Why can't I become a plague doctor? Just declare everyone that's sick is possessed by some sort of animal demon, and then profit, that's it. AI will take over the world. Meanwhile, AI results for salmon in river. Yeah, okay, maybe it is gonna take a little bit longer for um, this to happen. It's gonna be a little bit of confusion um, in the meanwhile, maybe for the next decade. We have time. And MFers in Poland called their city Japumpkin, since this city is uh, G and then translated Polish to English Pumpkin. Is it short for good pumpkins? Do they have good pumpkins there or something? It is literally the 12th largest city in all of the country. Who could have guessed the pumpkin industry would be so profitable here? Mum, no politics at the table. Me, my brother, and my dad, after discussing which politician could eat the most spaghetti. Man, mom never likes to have any fun. These are my favorite political discussions. The Japanese, after creating one of the greatest stories ever conceived, just to make the worst
course ending possible, disregarding everything that happened up to that point and ruining the whole thing. Okay, what exactly are we talking about here? Because this person seems angry. There's a lot of animes. All the animes. Ooh, the ozo layer is healing. Humans will be extinct by the time it completely heals. Oh, okay. Maybe this isn't cause for that much celebration then. Man, I got my hopes up too. The car salesman who said, I can take the car for a test drive. Meanwhile, me, who's actually going 120 towards the Mexican border. Not only do I have this brand new car, but I've also gained a friend along the way. Most kids, I built my own PC. Boomers, no, you should be playing outside instead. My nephew, I built my own gaming PC. Me, that's cool. I wish I knew as much about computers as you do. This is one thing that I'll always regret, the fact that I just still don't know anything about computers. I remember there was this moment in my life when I was like 24, 25, where I was like, okay, I'm either going to learn how to build my next PC or I'll probably never learn about it ever again. And I chose to just buy a pre-built computer and, and never, never learn about it. So, um, I guess that says a lot. Chinese mall architects, when you tell them they cannot freely change the thickness of steel beams that are supposed to carry thousands of tons. Um... Yeah, maybe someone should have told them this a little bit, uh, a little bit earlier. Bugs Bunny, after becoming fat for less than two seconds in that one episode in 1940. Good day, gentlemen. I am here to change the future. Talk about epic, big chungus. I'm pretty confident there's people on this earth that only know this form of them. They've never seen any other look from them. Wait, if it was released in 1940, then that means a certain, uh man with a mustache could have seen this. Argentinian kids going through their grandpa's old photos. Uh, don't, okay, let's, I didn't think it was... I thought, all right, let's move on. And big thanks to my patrons. Drew, I forgot to kidnap you. Next date is March 19th, 2023 at 6 Boy, do I love Arby's. Drew's Eritrean grandma. Portugal is not Drew's Balkans. Argentinian $20 grandpa. $20 is a lot, Drew. A fat Norwal. Brighton is the Caleb best. Caleb H. Drew's and good old Ryan. Jack Traven's annoying John friend. John Denver loves and doesn't know Isaac's text. Robert Quinn Taylor. Ryan, the Weeknd, the Great Commonwealth. The Wicked Hamsters. Carmel S. And Zany Boy.